Hi, welcome. I'm just I'm just waiting for the man of the day. Oh no. Rabbi Sachs. The live stream has started. See, there are things that Rabbi Sachs does. And I've learned from him to start on time. <laughs> Touche. Okay. I resemble that. It's okay. <laughs> so, if everyone could take a seat, we're going to start. Welcome, live stream people. We have a few people that are live streaming who couldn't make it in, who have become part of our congregation. One is Joel, and they wanted to be here to experience this, and the YouTube will be on our YouTube channel. Maybe. So welcome everybody today for this really special day. And I've been challenged by a couple people, they don't know why I'm emceeing, to see if I can make it through the first part without crying. Okay? The first part I can do. Once Ken Robin gets up here, forget it. Then I'm done. Okay? So today is a very special day for all of us. Um, we're marking the transition. We have a wonderful rabbi that's been with us for almost, almost 13 years. Really, we're saying 13 years. And has created a Kihilat Kodesh. So we wanted to honor this moment in a Kodesh holy way and also have some fun. So you have the program ahead of you, in front of you. And I know that there are going to be times when somebody's up here that may be singing or may be doing something that you may want to rush up and help them or be there. Please stay in your seats and be that wonderful audience. Okay, there will be two times when everybody's going to be singing together. And other than that, let them do. We've picked the people to speak to honor the moment. If you're not on the program and you want to speak, you're going to have time at the lunch, okay? We wanted to keep this under five hours, close to what rabbi ser sermons are, because most of our congregation could sit for five hours, but five hours and one minute, forget. Okay, so we're really trying to keep that. So please welcome, enjoy the day, be part of this wonderful family. If you're visiting us, take in the spirit of CAH, because it's a wonderful family. So in that vein, I'm going to invite Cantor Robin from Temple Beth Tor to come up. The reason Cantor Robin was asked is, is various. Um, Lechi Lach is one of Rabbi's favorite songs. It has meaning not only in the words, but it connects him to Raphael and to other people throughout his life. And I just, when I thought of it, I thought, hmm, okay. And then we have singers all during the day. And I thought Cantor Robin would be the perfect person for this. And I want to tell you what a mess she is. She wrote back, are you sure you, you're going to honor, you know, you've, it, she takes it from the heart. And I will tell you that Cantor Robin is singing from the heart today for it. So Cantor Robin. To a land that I will show you. Lech lecha, to a place you do not know. Lech ilach, on your journey I will bless you. And you will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. Lechi lach. Lechi lach. And I shall make your name great. Lech lecha. And all shall praise your name. 
Lehi to the place that I will show you. Le Simchat Chayim, Le Simchat Chayim, Le Simchat Chayim, Le Chilah. And you will be a blessing, you will be a blessing, you will be a blessing. Thank you, Sarah. We will, at the, towards the end of the program, all have a chance to sing with Ken and Robin those words and wish Rabbi well on his journey. I'd like to next invite Benzie Kogan to give some words from the United Synagogue of Concern, he just came from uh, and, P and Pacific Southwest region. He, he is all, he's representing them, but he's also a friend of rabbis. So it's, it's a double blessing. So thank you very much. I, I'm not going to, uh, do I need to use the microphone? Yeah, use the, the mic for okay, live please. stream. Okay. So, thank you very much. It's really a pleasure to be here. The last time that I was here was as I was about to become the outgoing chair of the Pacific Southwest Region of the United Synagogue. And it dawned on me, as I, when I got the invitation to come, it dawned on me that this is a room where I have bragging rights. <laughs> bragging rights. Because I know Rabbi J.B. Sachs longer than anybody in this room. J.B. Sachs came to teach when I was one of the principals at the LA Hebrew High School, came to teach, and we got to know each other a little bit then. We both resurfaced in New Jersey and had a very dynamic friendship there. And um, I came back to LA, he came back to LA, and we reconnected on a number of occasions, especially with the book that turned out to be a memorial tribute to our very close friend, Rabbi Raphael Goldstein. Uh, those are my bragging rights. My rights as a friend and as someone who knows JB and knows everything that he brings to a community, I have a tinge of sadness for Am Hayam, but I learned, I learned when I came out two years ago that the mantra of this congregation is come for the community and stay for the bagels. <laughs> because Brenda told me that, that the congregation, whenever they have a brunch like this, do you still order from Zabar's? Oh my God, oh my God. So, so I came to the right place. Um, JB, of course, everybody here is with both hearts filled with joy and a tinge of sadness. But um, the work that you have done here has really been unparalleled. You have held this community up on your back, carried it through not just 13 ordinary years, but a few years of COVID as well. And I was gonna bring my mask with me because the last time that I that, that I was here, uh, people were still, should I wear a mask, should I not wear a mask? No masks, no masks, because we have to see each other's smiles and we have to feel really, really good about the day as a milestone. And we have to feel really good about you going on to the next journey in your life, which is actually a pretty good place. And um, hope for the very best for the future of Am Hayam as well. So thank you for having me. Thank you, Benzi. And on behalf of United Synagogue, Pacific Southwest Region, Kola Kavod. Kola Kavod. Um, next, I have the privilege of reading a letter from Rabbi Blumenthal who sent a letter um, in honor of this special day. And Rabbi Blumenthal is the USCJRA CEO. 
That's how Rachel told me to go ahead and explain it. And I have the letter here. Dear Rabbi Sachs, on behalf of USCJ, we want to wish you a hearty mazal tov on the celebration of your 13 years of continued service to Congregation Amayam, the greater Ventura County, and the global conservative Masorati movement. Throughout your distinguished career, you have been a champion of meaningful Jewish life. And over the 13 years with Congregation Amayam, your commitment to Klal Yisrael has fostered a community that has benefited members and visitors alike. We know that your efforts will continue to impact synagogues and communities in years to come as well. We applaud your efforts over so many years to teach and spread Torah and to embrace a responsibility to serve and support your congregation in Ventura, in other areas, and to be a thoughtful colleague with the RA, the Rabbinical Assembly, in a manner consistent with the principles of authentic and dynamic Judaism. May you, your family, and congregation Am Hayam continue to go Mechayel Lechayel from strength to strength. Warm regards, Rabbi Blumenthal. And you have to indulge me one more time. I'm reading another letter. This is from Rabbi Lisa. Rabbi Lisa Hochberg Miller, who is the rabbi at Temple Beth Torah. She wrote me three emails saying, I wish I could change any, what I'm doing. She said, this is one of maybe two things that I couldn't change. She said, I wanted to be there so much. Um, I asked her if she wanted me to say anything. She sent me such a meaningful thing. Thing, and I'm going to read it. This one's a hard one. Asselacha rav kinelacha chaver. These words from Pirkei Avot, acquire yourself a teacher, make yourself a partner colleague. JB, you have been both a teacher and a partner colleague for which I've been deeply enriched. Your extraordinary knowledge of ritual, of prayer, of music, of Talmud is always a delight. You share knowledge with such love and enthusiasm for text and for Torah Lishma, the joyful act of simply bringing Torah into the world. In every conversation and interaction, Torah truly lives with you, in you and through you. It has been my joy to experience that, learning from you over the years, each time we would plan an event or a celebration. You share your knowledge of Torah for no other purpose than the joy of sharing. And I love that about you. We have planned many events in your tenure. Simchat Torah celebrations, Shavuot teach-ins, Israel-focused Zoom programs. Uh, and I am never one, she says, to just dial it in. I'm always seeking to build something, create new ideas, add something that we haven't added before. But JB, you are the unquestioned champion of creating and collaborating. Your level of preparation, of detail, of minutia is second to none. You look at every detail and consider how can we enhance this point? There is simply not a time you do not give 200%. I, this isn't even mine, okay? <laughs> I always knew a program was in good hands if we were collaborating, that you would bring the value added to every teaching or service. It might be Israeli songs or extra poetry, but it always enriched the program. And of course, us, the participants. Together, we were able to do something that had not really existed for the Jewish community of Ventura before to open the doors between the conservative and reformed congregations on festivals and holidays and build a bridge that brought people together and honored our traditions. One of the highlights for me was when TBT hosted a Hoshana Rabbah service, something we had never done before, as Hoshana Rabbah is quite honestly skipped over in most reformed communities on our way to Shemini Atzeret and Sibkas Torah. We were in capable hands as you introduced us to the Hoshana, 
Hoshanot, the seven circlings around the sanctuary, the traditional readings, and the creative new ones you always bring. And yes, thank you. You warned us to put down sheets on the carpeting or else we would be picking up discarded palm parts well into the hereafter. I hope this is to be part of your CAH legacy, that our congregations will continue to find wins to celebrate together and support each other. With you, I know I always have a teacher and a colleague who will listen to my questions, answer fully, be equally open to ideas from others, a rabbi who strives to do their best for all of us in the community. At a deeper level than the titles bestowed on you by seminary or work are the titles you have earned. Mensch, lover of Zion, Ish Ahavat Chesed, one who is guided by loving kindness, Darche Shalom, pursuer of peace. I will cherish your partnership as one of the highlights of my career. And I wish you and Stephen the best of health and the joy that each day brings your way. Begitty do, Lisa. Yay, thank you, Robin. Kenna Robin, I actually had that in my notes. I said, I was going to say, hopefully, if she doesn't get up, I said, Kenna Robin, go represent TBT. Okay, so that was just a teeny bit of a cry. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Alma Baranke up to the speaker's beam up. And you may, you may want some tissue in you. Okay. <laughs> Alma is a beloved, beloved member of CAH. Alma and her daughter got together to do a tribute to Rabbi. And again, even if Alma starts to falter a little, Alma wants to do it herself. Nobody's going to jump up and help her. Alma's going to do this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alma. Good afternoon, everybody. Pleasure, great pleasure to be here with Rabbi. Go a little Steven. closer to the microphone. Oh. They can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. It's a pleasure to be here to honor Rabbi and Stephen and everybody who came to, to wish him goodwill on his journey. You're just too good to be true, Rabbi Sachs. We can't take our eyes off of you. We're going to miss you so much. Our hearts have been so very touched. 13 years of warmth and devotion has enlightened our souls. You're just too good to be true. Can't take our eyes off of you. We will never forget you. Pardon the way that we stare. There is nothing else to compare. You're blessed. You bless it with song, laughter, and prayer, guiding us through Torah with thought and care. Your sermon's so meaningful and fine. You're just too good to be true. A blessing on your head, muzzle tough, muzzle tough. We will never ever forget you. We love you, Rabbi. And if it's quite all right, we'll miss you, Rabbi. We'll, every day and night, we love you, Rabbi. Trust in us when we say, Oh, dearest Rabbi, can't borrow a minute of your tomorrow. Oh, dearest Rabbi, let, don't let it cause you sorrow. But for... For now, we have to go, dear rabbi. Oh, you're too just too good to be true. Can't take our eyes off of you. Go ahead. I don't, I don't care. Alma is in her 90s. I just want you to know. And Alma is who most of us strive to be, at least I do in my 60s. I would like to be Alma now, let alone in my 90s. Okay. So. 
So one of the things people I know have received so much from Rabbi, and we had somebody talk about it yesterday at our Kiddush Luncheon, is what you've done to make us feel safe during the October 7th incident and beyond. And one of the things, I couldn't have a program without acknowledging it. It's, it's just not right these days. But we didn't want to focus on the negative. We wanted to focus on the positive. And one of the songs you, you created for us was Oja Vos Shalom Alein. That became our song. So I invited Andrea to come up and lead us all in um, this wonderful song. So please join in with all the love and, and ruach. Yeah. Uh, would you guys repeat after me on this side? Shalom. Shalom. And you guys go, help me. Shalom. Shalom. So they're going to say it, then you're going to say it. Ready? Shalom, shalom. And you can uh, uh, interact that way, okay? And you already know the song. I know you do, okay? And we wish for peace in Israel and peace in your heart, okay? I just got a call from Israel on my way over. I'm so lucky, yeah. Ojavo shalom aleinu. Ojavo shalom aleinu. Ojavo shalom aleinu ve'alkulam. Ojavo shalom aleinu. Ojavo shalom aleinu. Ojavo shalom aleinu ve'alkulam. Shalom. Thank you. Aleinu ve'alkulam. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, a little faster. Ojabo shalom aleinu. Ojabo shalom aleinu. Ojabo shalom aleinu. I'm gonna harmonize. Ojabo shalom aleinu. Ojabo shalom aleinu. Shalom Aleinu Ready, last time Shalom Aleinu Ve'akulam Shalom Shalom And now look at JB Shalom Aleinu Ve'akulam Shalom Shalom I'm sending you all my Reiki energy Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, everybody. So as our next speaker is coming up, I, I was just looking around the room and how amazing. Mark, it's very good to see you, Mark Goldman. Very nice. Everybody, it's just, I, Rabbi, Rabbi Flam, thank you. You will be, yeah, I did, because you came in, I just wanted to kind of look around the room. Joel Baker. Alan Tuplinski, who you'll hear about from them at lunch, about how JB ended up there. Um, just what a nice way to take in everybody. And I want you to take around and look. This is our congregation. This is what we're best at. We are a community. Okay. See, I didn't say one. I'm now going to introduce my partner in crime. Somebody that everybody here knows, our president, Rabbi Brenda Ritt, Rabbi Brenda. <laughs> oh, I let it out of the bag. We said, yeah, we said, you know, for a couple weeks, she's going to be the rabbi. Our president, Brenda Ritt, who has, who has some words to say. Are you ready? No. Okay. I won't look at you. Rabbi, you have said many times that with my key of R, I should lead a choir. <laughs> so here's my audition. <laughs> Rabbi, Rabbi Sachs, King of the Rabbinette. 
Rabbi, Rabbi said, the man with a gift of gab came to CH 13 years ago with lots of knowledge that had no bounds. We looked at him with a scant music on the beamer. No way, my man. <laughs> Rabbi, Rabbi Sachs, boy, did you prove us wrong. <laughs> Rabbi, Rabbi Sachs, will you CAH wouldn't be here. Okay, I've tortured you long to know with my lovely voice. <laughs> but I'm going to stop singing, but not stop speaking. Hand and Bill, you heard much praise for Rabbi Sachs. So I hope you realize what a gem you are getting. Just give him free reign and he will never forget, regret it. Now for more. Rabbi, you were hired as a part-time rabbi. You spent more hours providing us with services and classes than most full-time rabbis do. You did such informative classes filled with slides, speakers, music, and more. Just to name two recent ones, Abraham Joshua Heschel and how Jewish music played a part in social justice from the 1800 to present day. You provided handouts for Torah and half Torah discussions. You challenged us with discussion questions. And as you always said, I don't ask easy questions. <laughs> You always stimulated us and made us think. And never ever did you ask to be reimbursed for any of your expenses, no matter how many times I asked. I am, knowing, I am not going to enumerate everything you have done for us or we will be here until 2025. <laughs> but one thing I must mention and emphasize, the pandemic. While most synagogues suffered greatly, we thrive because of you. You could have just slept from March of 2020 to 2022 and done nothing and still get paid. But what did you do? You worked harder and introduced a new word into our lives, Zoom, <laughs> and brought us a sister congregation, Congregation Beth Shalom, they were able to join us and benefit as well as CAH did from all you did. Every week of the month, you provided either an Erev Shabbat service or a Shabbat service in addition to classes. We never lost our home. You kept us together. We are here today because of you. I will not only miss you for the above, but I will miss our Shabbat dinners. You became a part of my family, and I will always treasure those memories. I have a special certificate here. Whoops, I'm shaking a little bit. You can want to hand it to me in uh, From the city of Ventura, signed by Mayor Joe Schroeder in recognition of your and recognition and appreciation for your 13 years of service to Congregation Am Hayam. Thank you, Miriam Mack, for bringing this. I also have a small gift for you from the congregation in appreciation for all you have given us. May it point your way to your future endeavors, and may it also point your way to never forgetting us. Rabbi, <laughs> Rabbi Sex, forever in our hearts. Rabbi, Rabbi Sex, to your future with our love. And now I'll turn the mic home back to Fran. Brenda, can we let people know what it is? Yeah. The gift, Rabbi, we will open it, but I want other people to know it's a yacht. Oh, wow. 
I think everybody in this room has experienced Rabbi Sachs reading Torah. And if you haven't, I, I tell you that it's worth a drive to CBS to um, um, hear him read Torah. So when we were looking for a gift, we thought, because what a perfect thing. And whenever you use it, you have to think of us. Okay. <laughs> but it, it, we couldn't think of a better thing to embody who you are. For those of you that don't know, Rabbi Sachs was really our only Torah reader. Um, I can do a portion. Esther can do a portion. Brenda can do a portion here and there. But Rabbi, every Shabbat that he was here, read the entire triennial reading. And he's excellent. And if you haven't heard his Torah reading for Rosh Hashanah for the Binding of Isaac, you guys are in for like a treat you can't believe. It, you hear the story. Miriam's nodding her head because I remember one of the times you heard it for the first time. People are, it's what a Torah reading should be. It brings tears to your eyes. So... Okay. Yeah. So please, please use it only in good health. Only, only, only. Okay. So that wasn't my speech. Now here's my words to you. And one of the things Rabbi has taught me over the years is process and for the greater good and not just me. So I rewrote this speech 25 times. Okay. So the day the day you were born is the day. God, Miriam, you're right. Miriam, Miriam said, "Are you going to be able to get through it?" Okay. The day you were born is the day God decided that the world could not exist without you. That's Rav Nachman of Bratzel. Okay. Ha Rav Shelley. I came across these words in my Musar Institute VOD this week. It was just what I was looking for to begin to express my words to you as you begin another path on your journey. Like any good quotation, it could be understood on many levels. The first one is on a lighter level. I know how you feel about celebrating birthdays, yours and other people's. I am hoping this can enable you to gain another perspective of celebrating your birthday, seeing a very special connection with God. Now on a mm, kind of more serious note, I've known you for almost close to 30 years. We're getting close to there. And I know that's hard for some of you to believe because Rabbi always says he's turning 25, 26, okay? But we've known each other a long time. And just when I think you can't be any more amazing as a rabbi, you find a way. You're not one of those rabbis that dial it in. Your dedication to CAH, especially during the pandemic, not only made sure we survived as individuals, which was part of your goal, but as a congregation, and now it's lasting even after. We have accessible services and classes that we didn't have before. And I think you actually mastered Zoom in the first month of the lockdown, and I don't know how you learned all of it, okay? Your development and implementation of our two grant series was above and beyond. We received two grants from United Synagogue and Pacific Southwest region. The, connect, you, the connections that you have to presenters, as well as your dedication to detail, help make them so successful. Your classes, discussions, sermons, music, handouts, and much more were always above and beyond. Congregants have commented to me in this process of transition that they gained something every time they learned and davened with you. I know your humility, your anava, will not allow you to take in these words. My role as lifelong learning chair would not have succeeded without you. And Rabbi Sachs, CAH would not have been the same without you. Most importantly, 
Your examples of Derek Eretz, mensch-like behavior, is something the world sorely needs. Thank you for proving Rav, Rav Nachman correct by sharing this part of your journey in life with me and CAH. And I know you will continue with much success on your next path in your journey. Lechilach. So, oh, wait, there's more. Oh. Sit, you're going to want to hug me for this. So, first of all, I'm very proud of this congregation because we've been working on a project. And I can say that I think no one actually leaked it to the rabbi. Okay, no one, and that's pretty good. I had visions of somebody coming up and saying, did you read my email? Did you like it? And I know Rabbi well enough that he knew not to ask what email. Okay, he would just let it go. So we decided to ask the congregation and, and friends of the congregation, whatever, to send well wishes to you, what they love about you, what they feel they gained. And I have to tell you, the variety of emails we got was fun. Okay. We made one book and this book would not be, I, I got the emails. Okay. I put them on a Google doc and magically sent them to Mark Rich there in the back. Okay. It would have taken me 25 years to do what Mark did in two hours. Okay. And then Brenda very nicely took it to get it bound. Okay. So Rabbi, you can come up now. It's so much fun being in control of him for a minute. Right, Stephen, every once in a while. Yeah. Lichy Lach, as the journey continues, presented to Rabbi J.B. Sachs by Congregation Hayam on June 9th. And I just want to show you, oh, this is just how the pages look, okay? They're not just printed in there as I would do. I would have just put the words. Mark thinks about white space, something I learned from Rabbi Sachs. I, and CBS, I know, Bill, you know all about that, but he will probably tell you more. I thought, you know, it's, very creative. it's how it goes on a page. So there are letters from pretty much everybody here and people who couldn't make it. And to tell you that I stuck by the deadline, Somebody sent me something that was after the deadline, and it's now in an envelope in the book. Okay? And these were not edited at all. Uh oh, oh, did you see something? No. Oh, the eye was going. I thought, uh oh, what do we do? Okay? These were not edited. These are what they thought. Thank so, you. Well, thank you so you. much. And my words and Brenda's words are in there and Rabbi Lisa's words are in there. So you will have, and plus everybody else's. Okay. Did I, oh, I didn't give you. Okay, so guess what? It's your time to speak. And, and those looking in the audience, don't worry, I've told him that after four hours and one minute, I'm gonna roll over his feet, okay? But he wants he wants a chance to share. So come. Truth, truthfully, I'm I'm really overwhelmed. I'm really thank you so much. It means so much to me that all of you are here, dear friends, um, newer and long term. Does feel a little bit like we're at some sort of. United Synagogue Regional Meeting here. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, I would like to um, be able to say something to all of you, but there's an old um, joke um, that actually says, um, and you may have heard it in some variety, that says, what's the difference between a Jew and a Frenchman at a party? And the answer is that the a Frenchman leaves and never says goodbye, a Jew says goodbye and never leaves. <laughs> um, it's sort of true, right? Um, 
jokes do arrive from someplace, and I hope I'm not the person who never leaves. Um, but I do think in 13 years, we've had something, just guesstimates of over 250,000 emails and texts, um, maybe 7,500 phone calls, more than 200 meetings, 500 hours of, or more than 500 hours, uh, five, excuse me, 5,000 hours of davening um, together, hundreds of Google Docs, <laughs> Minimally. Minimally, yeah. Um, but obviously that's not what we remember. We have had such um, amazing, thank you, Rabbi. Um, so many things that we were able to accomplish together and so many vibrant memories of having high schoolers and people in their 90s dancing with the Torah together in Simchas Torah. Um, um, memories of doing a comedy night with Ark, um, where all the, uh, or talent night, and all the performers were people with disabilities. Um, it was so moving as well as joyful um, of ha getting speakers who offered their Torah, Rabbi Elliot Dorf, um, you know, the master of philosophy and law of conservative movement and Rabbi Dale Freeman, who helped us think a little bit more about our mental well-being as we continue aging, um, and so many other people that we've been able to grow from, and um, so many other programs that we were able to do. But more than all of that, I um, really um, um, will remember all the little things. conversational moments at Kiddush or Oneg or at a Shiva or at a celebration. So many times of just connecting after the service or before the service. It might have been something in the service that sparked a reaction that got us to take a moment to sort of do some deeper probing that made it more of a Kodesh moment of something really um, holy um, in connecting with each other as, as people. I'm so grateful for all of you for coming to my longtime friend, my family member, Fran, really, and to Brenda for their efforts in spearheading this. I don't know of all the people who had threads on it. Mark, thank you. Thank you, Mark, uh, for your role as well. Um, and I don't know everyone else to thank, but know that I am, even if I don't know your names, I'm very, very grateful. I am overwhelmed. Um, and thank you to those of you who are um, on our live stream. I can't see you, but I have so much love for everyone who is uh, uh, filling up this space with your love. Um, I um, am grateful for the relationship Ken and Bill, that we've been able to forge with our two congregations for sure. And High Holy Day teachings and Purim with TBT uh, during the pandemic via Zoom and, and uh, other times that we were able to celebrate together. And of course, um, all the collaborations that we've done, um, Cantor and with Rabbi Lisa, and uh, have been so meaningful and joyful and, and really um, through, you know, we Jews have learned that we can't afford to ensnale ourselves from each other in the world, um, especially in these difficult times that we're, we Jews are, are facing. And I'm so grateful, um, Benzi, for your friendship over many decades and 
uh, for sure, and and your um, collegiality and thoughtfulness and and joyfulness and um, Joel, um, it was a journey we've taken, and I'm so glad. And you know, um, journeys go in different directions, um, but uh, um, thank you for your role um, in helping find make this shidduch and reaching out to me for it. And um, and I will treasure all the times we had it at, at uh, then Temple Aliyah, uh, um, uh, davening together, talking together, schmoozing, studying, learning, growing together. Thank you, Alan, thank you for coming out. You know, um, really uh, um, meaningful to me um, uh, and knowing what a, you know, like so many people here, you you um, exemplify mental type, but you have a thoughtfulness and a sense of Torah about you. Julia, thank you so much. I, all the times we've been able to co collaborate on holiday celebrations and your voice has been so wonderful. Um, uh, most recently with uh, bringing and starting an annual um, music concert of Jewish music that we started this year um, when we, uh, did this past spring, and uh, but I remember so many other occasions. So thank you so much, and uh, to you um, and the Nirami family, really, uh, thank you so much. Um, and uh, so many uh, friends, uh, all of you. Um, I, I, I will hopefully try to catch a moment with each of you today or on Shavuot, um, uh, but. The last time you were here, Benzi, it was actually we had a celebration at the end of our year of study and, and deep dive into conservative Judaism and different aspects. And I think that Ken and Bill, you were here for that as well. Um, and uh, the Rolling Steins, uh, uh, Cantor Stein and his family were here for us. And we did then for the end of our year of study, um, a Hadaran, um, that which is a a uh, passage that we say when we complete a, a, a time of study. And um, so um, in the Hadaran um, that I'm going to say now very briefly um, uh, talks about returning. So Hadaran alaihi v'hadaran alan, da'atan alaihi v'da'atan alan, lo nit nishiminach v'lo nit nishiminan laba al mahadin. You and I will return to learning, exploring, and growing, and let learning return to us. For our mind and soul is on exploring and growing. We will not forget these years of learning and growth. We will take it with us wherever we go. I may be in the in calm desert, but I'll be returning at least in spirit often. And I'll be returning to the website and getting nachas um, as you grow into your next stage with Rabbi Goldstein. I'll be returning in spirit to see the joy of davening together. I'll be returning to see how the community of the Ventura, Oxford, Camarillo, Camarillo area pull together, um, not only through this, vulnerable time for the Jewish people, but through all kinds of joyful moments of Jewish life um, in, in, in celebrating the rhythm of the Jewish life as one people uh, together. I'll be returning in so many ways and keeping my eye on, and I will continually um, know that your love will be with me where I need it and when I need it. And I'm so grateful for all that the 13 years have brought to us in joy and love and spirit. And I thank you all. I, I was honored. Um, I'm gonna let Ken Robin go first and then I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, okay, so this time we're doing this lechi lach again, but this time you have permission and are invited to sing along. And I'm going to sing it a little higher because that was the first time I sang this morning today. So yeah. I kept it nice and low. But we'll... And the words are on the back of yes. the program if you haven't seen them yet. I think that'll be better. Lechi to a land that I will show you. Lech lecha, to a place you do not know. Lech on your journey I will bless you. And you will be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. Let me laugh. Let me laugh. And I shall make your name praise. Let me And all shall praise your name. And you shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. So, as I do the closing words, I forgot something to add that I was I had added in my speech, but didn't have it on that one. Um, a very important part of our con a member of our congregation died recently, Lois Lemon, and I was kicking myself because. I should have written down her words. I, I was fortunate, for those of you that don't know, Lois called me every Shabbat at five o'clock on Friday for the last almost, it was before I got ill, but it started during the pandemic. She was the person called no matter where she was, no matter how she was feeling, my phone rang and Lois was 98 years old. <laughs> Okay. There were times I felt badly like I should be calling her. She called me every time. She, she passed a few weeks after her 98th birthday. And I was blessed by Lois to get a call from her. She died on Saturday. I got a call from her on a Thursday. One of the things she wanted me to say to you was that she loved you. She said to me, always let Rabbi Sachs know how much I love him. And I wish I had, I wish I had probed more, but she just wants you to know, she wanted you to know in your heart that you made a difference in her life every day. So we come to the end of this wonderful thing. I would like to, don't look at me. I would like, I, I've been told what I can and can't say. So, but I'm, I don't listen. Ken, you know that about me. You've known that about me from when I, Ken Halpern and I go way back. Ken, and, Ken was one of my, like, teachers almost at, in Hebrew school in Denver. So Ken knows that I was a troublemaker back then, and I still am. So first of all, I want to thank Mark Rich. Um, Mark Rich is always in the background. Mark Rich is one of those people with great humility and does things because he loves to do the congregate to do things and support the congregation. There are many things you don't know that Mark does. 
And one of them has always been supportive of me and his mom, but I'm blessed to be part of that support. So thank you, Mark. Miriam Mack, thank you for going and getting the, the proclamation. I know it's nothing to you, but it meant a lot to us, okay? Um, and the people that set up and are gonna help clean up, thank you. And I can't look over there because she's going to give me a dirty look. Um, Brenda Rich. Okay. Brenda Rich. I'm, I'm going to say it. Brenda Rich is unbelievable. Unbelievable. When the reason that I became connected is I've been with Rabbi Sachs at other synagogues. And one of the things I loved most about this synagogue is how Brenda as president interacted with the rabbi. I don't know if anybody in this room can understand that sometimes presidents are not nice to rabbis or, or there's conflict. From the beginning, Brenda was the president I always wanted my friend to have as support. Brenda works tirelessly. Okay, I, I, she, I didn't get her permission, but I'm gonna say it anyway. For those of you that don't know, Brenda is 83 years old. Brenda makes things happen here. And I want people to really understand that in their heart. This event would not have happened without Brenda. Some of it was really good and fun. Sometimes I don't know if you know, but she yells a little bit. It's just her tone. It's just her tone, okay? And Jerry is so funny, her, our, our friend, because he'll smile at me because Brenda and I will get into it. Okay, I'll yell back at her, she'll yell back. But this program would not have happened without Brenda. Okay, well, uh, Brenda, okay? And the food you're about to eat is Brenda's love for this congregation, like Betsy said, and for Rabbi. So please, even though she'll, I'll probably get yelled at after the program, please thank Brenda for this. Okay. And I thank you all for the letters and for making that easy and just for letting me honor. I am going to invite Neil up to do the homozi, but before you want me to do tables, is that what? Oh, right. And a reminder that anybody can say whatever they want at the tables. Okay. It's, I mean, I'm assuming it's Dara Harris. Okay. I'm assuming, you know, I don't want Ken Halpern because you know Ken. Okay. You know, this is a person you have to worry about as Ken to get up there and say something off color or something like that. Okay. But please feel free. Yeah. Yeah. Benzie, will you make sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, but please, this is the time to thank him and also thank you for the transition that you're helping us through. So, oh, now the tables. When we, when after Hamotzi, you're going to go to the table that's on your name tag, okay? And you're going to sit and wait, and Brenda or somebody will call two tables at a time, and then you will figure out how to do it because I'm still going to mess it up. Okay, Brenda told me exactly how she wants people to go around the tables. I don't get it. <laughs> There's some things, and I could blame it on my MS, but no, that's just Fran. That's a Fran thing. Okay. So, Neil, come on up. Neil is our ritual chair and worked closely with Rabbi over the years. And I wanted honored him with the difficult task of saying how much. Well, I'm not going to do it alone. Right. Yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah, we got fancy. Okay, everyone knows this one. Please join. I hope you enjoyed the program. The difficult thing for me is who do you go to when you're planning something? The rabbi. I couldn't go to the rabbi. Okay, I couldn't say, do I say this? Do I not? How do I do the order? So I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I did say that. Please go to.